What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Lockdown 23 and 1. And today we're going to be talking about some celebrity criminals. That's right, some, some stupid ones at that. I'll tell you what, I don't understand it. I don't understand it. When you get rich and famous, do you become stupid? You know, I, I don't get it. But anyways, before we get into that, let me show you all something really quick that was sent to me yesterday. Uh, with a few other packages, you know, I don't really do the whole mail time opening because it's a lot of packages. And I like to keep this channel based upon prison content 100%. You know, maybe I'll do it on my other channel. But uh, check it out. This is from Will. I'll just say Will. I don't know if he wants his full government out there. Will at 5 Minute Major on YouTube sent me this. First off, I knew it was going to be a good package because he sent me... The uh, no rat sticker. That's right. Grizzy has this tattooed on his shoulder. <laughs> no rats. But he also sent me this. It's like a picture of me on the back wrestling the gator. And on the front, you know, got the predator, me staring at the predator. But he made me into an action figure. What? Can you believe that? Check it out. It doesn't really, the face doesn't super look like me, but it's close. It's close. Check this jank out. He's got tattoos on there and everything. Look at the tattoos on his neck. Sorry this camera's not probably focusing on the action figure. But look, he also has a damn knife in his hand. <laughs> 23 and 1 on the back. I love it, man. Love it. Got a little pair of Chucks janks on, man. Even did the detail on the, on the Chicago hat. Look at that thing. You even put the Chicago symbol on the hat. Love it, dude. Absolutely amazing. I'll keep this guy right here. Oh, death. It's just been turned into an action figure. Now, back to the topic at hand. Celebrities and their charges. Okay, a lot of them are going back to the penitentiary. That's right. And some of them are straight snitches. And I think we'll start with the snitch first. Dennis Rodman, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. He has hit the... Uh, headliners recently for this yoga shop robbery heist type thing theft whatever you want to call it uh, I'm gonna break down the story for you in one second but I watched this thing that show someone sent it to me I actually don't remember her name the article for it but this dude straight snitched right on camera I haven't seen someone do this so openly on camera in a while so it kind of caught me off guard but at the same time does Dennis Rodman fall under that whole no snitching policy? Is he a square? Is he a square? Is he considered a square? Because if he is a square, the no snitch policy goes out the window. But he still did it. He still did it. And I know he knows better. But anyways, Dennis Rodman went to this clothing store, whatever, yoga shop, whatever you want to call it. And they're saying that he was a decoy while other people were stealing stuff from the store. Okay, I think it was like two or three people that were in the store. And the way this thing... The, happened is absolutely unbelievable just listen to the how absurd this is you got to be the dumbest individual on earth to do some of the stuff either that he did or <laughs> that they did that was with them okay but they were with them that's a fact so first things first dennis Rodman. they're saying that he was drunk when he was in the store while he was trying to decoy while people were stealing clothes and stuff look you can see in the video that the girl was stuffing clothes in her purse uh, you, now this guy that he was with went to the extent of trying to steal, I think it was a $2,500 crystal vase or vase, whatever you want to call it. I don't know what it was. Some kind of crystal uh, decoration, but it was expensive. And when he tried to steal it, he couldn't carry it. So what did he do? He went next door to the other store right next to it, got this dolly-like thing, reeled it in into the store and look this is right in front of the register and everything everyone's looking at him like what the hell's going on he he pushed his dolly up next to the crystal picked up the crystal drops the crystal you know first off he went to the other store to grab the dolly came back to the store and then broke the crystal this guy's a, a freaking moron okay now after all this is said and done you know dennis Rahman is saying hey yeah the store owner said we could come over there and grab a few things but this looked like a damn <laughs> They were cleaning up shop, and the store owner, I'm almost positive, is not down with what's going on. Otherwise, you know, it wouldn't be all over the news, but this is another crazy thing. Dennis Rodman leaves after they steal whatever, whatever, and he comes back to apologize to the store the next day with the female. And guess what? The female 
is wearing a freaking outfit that they stole from the store. <laughs> what the hell's going on here? And that's not it, okay? A few days later, he's getting interviewed by some camera crew and somehow they start talking about the vase, the guy who dropped the vase was trying to steal it or whatever, crystal, whatever it was. And he goes, look, the guy that dropped the freaking crystals right here, that's him, right here, look, right here, right here, him, him, him. And look, the camera turns to dude, and dude, and they ask him, are you the one that dropped the, the crystal, sir? And he goes, no comment. <laughs> no comment. So definitely, look, they are not on the same page. Dennis Rodman just threw him under the bus right there live on camera. It's unbelievable, man. You know? Why, why the hell? What the hell is going on in this world? What the hell is going on with celebrities? Dennis Rodman should be strapped with cash. If he ain't strapped with cash, then... He ain't do something right in his life, okay? You had all the opportunities on movies, NBA star, whatever the case is. And look, he should be strapped with cash, okay? If you were to give me just $1 million, I can guarantee you I'm gonna turn that $1 million into 20. And for people that don't do that, you know, uh, they just weren't thinking wisely. But then again, I don't know, I don't know any of his uh, monetary status or anything like that. So we could have plenty of money, who knows? But why would a celebrity do this, man? Why would a celebrity go in there and put his neck on the line for all this? I don't know. Could it have been a publicity stunt? Who knows? I doubt it because, I mean, usually people that do publicity stunts is because they want to get back in the limelight with their career or whatever. And he doesn't really have too much going on in his career. He's an older guy. He doesn't play basketball no more. He, ain't, he was never a good actor. <laughs> Uh, I mean, he really ain't doing too much of anything for him to reappear in the spotlight and uh, rekindle that whole celebrity status. I mean, but it's Dennis Rodman, you know? Shoot, he's going overseas and talking to dictators and stuff, so, you know, who knows? You know, I'm going to keep this sticker. Rat sticker. I'm going to keep it, and I'm going to pop this puppy out every time someone's snitching. Now, number two, Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor, this is going to be a quick one. A lot of people, uh, I don't know if you remember the video I made of him smashing dude's cell phone, taking it into the car, and he had like a strong arm robbery case. Well, that was dropped. That was dropped because the dude, um, probably because he was paid off. But anyway, dude said he went overseas. He didn't want to prosecute no more because he wasn't coming back to America to go through the court proceedings. You know, this, that, and the third. But we all know it was probably paid off. You know, so Conor McGregor, he's looking good right now. No court. No court for no strong arm robbery. He did not want that. And I kind of knew it. I can't even remember exactly what I predicted in the last video, but I can almost guarantee it was he's going to be all right. So all the Conor McGregor fans out there, you can breathe a sigh of relief. And I'm one of them. I ain't going to lie. I like Conor, man. He's good. Good character. Now, number three, Kodak Black. Kodak Black, fresh out the bing, going back to the bing. He's about to see tunnel vision for real. This dude, man... Uh, I know a lot of people don't like his music. I do. I do like some of his music. And, uh, you know, it's sad to say this, but he's a damn idiot. <laughs> idiot. I don't understand you, old Kodak. I don't understand it, bro. Like, what What are you thinking, dog? Okay, he got arrested. He's got, he's got arrested over at the border uh, not too long ago. I made a video on that. And he also got a, he's got a pending uh, some kind of sex charge. I don't know too much about that. Uh, but it's been going on for a while. And also he got arrested for lying on uh, documents to purchase a firearm from a store called Lou's Police Firearms or something like that in freaking Florida. Look, first off, man, look, if he's so hood, Park Baby 101, what the hell are you doing going to a store and actually filling out paperwork to buy a gun? And you're a felon. And you got pending indictments. I don't know what's going on with these dudes, man. Is it the money? Is the money tricking with their freaking mind? I don't know, but I'll tell you this. Even me, and I'm not even in the mix no more, okay? If I needed a pistol, I could get one like that, all right? And it ain't from no damn store. Every, any felon knows you don't go to, if you're a felon, you don't go to a damn store to get a gun. I'm not telling people not, you know, that are felons to go get guns or anything. I'm just saying anyone with the slightest common sense Okay, if they decide to break the law and go buy a firearm as a felon, you're not going to go to a damn store and fill out the proper paperwork. It just ain't happening. Now, 
he could have possibly known the store owner, okay, possibly. First of all, he had to have known, because why are you going to go to a store, you know, store shop that's like lose police firearms? I'm not going to no firearm place to buy a gun if it says police in the title or the billboard. Now I'm trying to give old Kodak the benefit of doubt and think maybe, okay, possibly he's, he knows what he's doing. But either he's stupid as hell or he knows the store owner and didn't think he was going to get caught up, you know. Uh, but I believe the feds have been watching him for a very long time. That's just my personal opinion. And when the feds are watching, you can't do nothing, man. <laughs> Anything illegal, they're going to see it. And they're going to pop you as soon as it happens. Especially if they don't have no larger case in the background, like they're watching you for something else. If they're just trying to get you on some minor stuff, as soon as you mess up once, man, you're done. I honestly think he's going to be going to prison for a good amount of time. Sad to say, you know, but that is my honest opinion. Kodak Black, I don't think, unless he gets out on bond, but... Uh, if he doesn't get out on bond and he's stuck in jail until his court proceeding, we're not going to see him for a long time. That's just my prediction. Now, last but not least on the list, this is not really a crime, but it should be a crime, okay? I have some horrible tattoos. I do, but I was in prison. I was in, that kind of gives me a little bit of, you know, even though there are some great tattoo artists in prison, uh, the majority of tattoos done in jail and prison, they don't turn out that great, all right? And some of my tattoos are really good, but the majority of them, they're just words and they weren't finished properly or whatever the case is. I have a little bit of a reason why they're messed up. These damn jets are flying nonstop this morning. <sighs> Anyways, but the person that we're going to be talking about today has no excuse for what they got tattooed on. Them, okay, this should be a damn crime. But the person that we're going to be talking about today has no damn excuse for what has happened. And the person that did the tattoo should be hit with criminal charges for something. I don't know because it is one of the worst tattoos. I swear on everything I love. I could have done a better tattoo than whatever, wherever she got this done. And that is six nines old lady. Look at this thing. It's hideous. Okay. It is freaking hideous hideous and i know i'm not the one to be talking about bad tattoos but i swear if you got money like that and you're going to get you know you got money and you're going to a professional shop oh <laughs> six nine should have came out looking a little bit better than that my friends i mean that is one ugly ass tattoo she needs to get that removed and redone facts that's 100 percent what she needs to do now and this is another thing why is she getting this stuff done because she knows 6 ix going to get out soon. She knows 6 ix going to get out, and she knows that he's going to continue with his rap career. And I can almost guarantee, okay, I said it in the past, that even though people know he's snitching, he has diehard fans, okay? He is going to become a success. He's going to get out, and he's going to continue the rap thing. Uh, will he be in protective custody and stuff like that for, you know, for the feds? Will he go into uh, witness protection? I think he's going to continue to pursue his rap career, and I think uh, he's going to succeed at it. I think he's just going to step up his bodyguards. He's going to go live somewhere, maybe overseas or something. Who knows? And and do it like that and drop albums from a distance. You know, get away from the mix. And you can definitely do that. If you got the money and you, you're allowed to do it, especially after being charged with the feds, but uh, you can definitely do that. But I hope you all enjoyed this episode of Celebrity Crime. It's absolutely unbelievable what some of these individuals do. Look, when you're rich and famous, you've got to think in a different way, man. And when stuff like this happens, it's like, do they even have common sense? They can't have common sense. They can't, you know, because there's no way me being uh, charged with felons and stuff like that, there's no way I would do half the stuff these individuals have done, you know. I would never smack a person's phone out their hand if paparazzi's all right there. You know a charge is coming, you know? I would never freaking purchase a firearm through a paperwork if I'm a convicted felon. Like, who does that? I would never ride around with weed going across a freaking border. I would never allow my homeboys to go steal from a yoga shop with me in it. It just ain't happening. But 
it is what it is. Don't forget to check out all the links in the description of the video. Go buy yourself some merchandise off of Teespring. Go add me up on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram. Go buy yourself some of my famous artwork on my Etsy page. All the links are in the description of the video. And don't forget, I got plenty of behind the scenes and vlogs and how to's on my other channel, 23 and Fun. Go check it out. The link will be pinned in the comment section or in the description below. Y'all be easy, be safe, and learn from all these people's mistakes, man. Don't do nothing stupid out there, all right? Especially if you've already been convicted of a felony or you're on probation, man. Think. Think before you act because I can guarantee what you think might not land you in prison can definitely land you in prison.